What's up YouTube fan? In today's video, I'll show you how you can transfer your photos or videos from your Canon PowerShot V10 to your MacBook or iPhone. So stay tuned. So before we connect to our MacBook, the first thing you would want to do is to make sure that your Canon V10 has got the correct settings. So what you want to do is open up the menu, go over to the icon that looks like a spanner, then go over into option three, and then you'll see down here you have choose USB connection app. Open up USB connection app, and then you'll see you have two options. The first option there is photo import, that's the one we want. But if you have video calls or streaming selected, then your MacBook will think that you want to use your Canon V10 as a webcam. We don't want to do that today. If you want to see how to use your Canon V10 as a webcam, I'll put the link to my video in the description box down below or up here on the screen. So now select photo import. Once you have done that, we're now all set to go. Switch off your Canon PowerShot V10. So the next thing you need is this cable over here. This is the USB Type-C cable that came with the Canon V10 in the box. So now what you want to do is to connect the one end into your MacBook. The other end you connect into the Canon PowerShot V10. Then you switch on the camera or your Canon V10. Now, if I remember correctly, when you connected your Canon V10, there's an icon that appears up here. But I think with the new Mac OS update, that is not the case anymore. If anyone experiences, let me know down in the comment box if you experience the same thing. So the workaround now is to open up image capture and where you will find that is within the launch pad. You'll come into other, open up other, and then you'll see image capture is there. Or alternatively, you can just type in image capture within the search bar and then open it up. Once you have done that, you'll see that the Canon V10 is now recognized your MacBook. And as you can see, your videos or images will appear up here. So now within image capture, just once again, you'll see that the device selected is the Canon PowerShot V10. The next thing I'll do is to select where my video must go to. And for the purpose of this video, I have selected the movies folder. You can select anything else if you want to, but for the purpose of this video, let's just stick to that. Then I'll select the video I would like to download. And all you need to do now is to come down to the right bottom corner and select download. And you'll see that your video will be downloading to the movies folder. Just a quick disclaimer, you'll notice that it does take some time to download or transfer the video file from your Canon PowerShot V10 to your MacBook. I mean, it is a big file since it is a video, but once that is done, you'll see that there's a little check mark that appears and this will show you that you have downloaded your video and there you have it this is how you will transfer your videos or photos making use of the usb type c cable so for this part of the video i'll show you how you can transfer your videos or photos to your macbook making use of an sd card reader or something like this which is a usb type c hub you'll see that this one comes with three usb ports as well as a type c port on the other side it has the micro SD card slot as well as the SD card slot and on this end it has the HDMI port. All you have to do now is to connect your SD card reader or USB Type-C hub into your MacBook and then you slot in your micro SD card into the SD card or the micro SD card slot. Once you have done that, you'll see that the Canon DC icon will appear in the top right hand corner. What you want to do is open that up. You'll see that you have two folders over here. You would want to select the DCIM folder. You'll see that there's a 100 Canon folder and all I'm going to do now is select that folder and you'll see that all your videos or photos will pop up over here. 
and all you want to do now is select the video of choice I'm just going to select a random video and then last thing you do is just to copy and then go over into the folder that you want and paste it over there and that is how you transfer your videos or photos making use of the SD card reader or USB Type-C hub. If you made it this far into the video and you found this video to be of value, please consider dropping me a like and a subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay tuned with when I upload new videos. So lastly, I'll show you how you can transfer your photos or videos from your Canon V10 to either your iPhone or your iPad. For the purpose of this video, I'm making use of my iPad since I'm recording on my iPhone. And to do that, you will need to download the Canon Camera Connect app from the App Store. Once you have downloaded the Camera Connect app either on your iPad or your iPhone, basically works the same. Open it up. The next thing you want to do is to pair your Canon V10 to either your iPhone or the iPad. And how you would do that is to come over into the icon over here and select that. As you can see, it's giving me this pop-up message because I've already connected my Canon V10 to this iPad. If you want me to make a video on this, let me know in the comment box down below and I will do so. But I'm going to select no for now. And then where you will find your videos or photos is within the functions option over here. Press on that, come over into images on camera and then you'll see that all of my videos or photos will pop up over here. The last thing I want to do is select one of my images, okay. select one of my images and then come down over to the import icon over here and just select import and now you see that it will be saving the video to my iPad or in another case the iPhone if you are making use of an iPhone. And there you go guys, those are the three methods that you can use to transfer your photos or your videos from your Canon PowerShot V10 to your MacBook or iPhone or in this case your iPad. Let me know what you guys think and I'll see you in the next one.